Nutrition labels can help you understand how different foods affect your diet and health. They look like this and can help you make small changes that create healthier eating habits. We'll tell you how. On a nutrition label, the first thing you want to look for is the serving size. This is the amount that most people eat, but it's not always the recommended portion size. The serving size is how all the other information on the label is calculated. So when you eat more or less than the serving size, the other numbers on the label change. It's very common for a whole container to have more than one serving. If you eat the whole container, the numbers on the label have to be multiplied by the number of servings in the container. Some easy math can help. Let's say the serving size is one cup, which contains 30 grams of carbohydrates, or carbs. If you eat two cups, that's two times the serving size. Then there are two times as many carbs, making it 60 grams. And if you eat half a cup, or half of the serving size, then divide everything by two. The amount of carbs is now 15 grams. Next up on the nutrition label are calories. These come from the nutrients in food like fat, carbs, and protein. Calories are important fuel for our bodies so we can stay healthy and active, but sometimes we eat too many. Eating fewer calories than we use is one way to lose weight. A doctor or dietitian will likely show you how to use calories to support your health goals. Now let's talk about fat, the nutrient that is highest in calories. There are different types of fat and knowing which one is in your food matters. Here's what to look for. Saturated fat is present in most animal products like butter, bacon, beef, and lard. You shouldn't eat too much saturated fat because it can make your cholesterol high. Look for products with no more than 2.5 grams of saturated fat per serving when you eat snacks and side dishes. For main dishes, 5 grams of saturated fat or less is a good choice. Unsaturated fats, found in foods like olive oil, nuts, and avocados, support heart health, so they're healthy fats. But these are not always listed on the label. Next on the label is carbs. Did you know that your blood glucose, sometimes called blood sugar, rises the fastest after eating foods with a lot of carbs? If you are eating something that's high in carbs, try to make sure it's high in fiber, too. Here's a good rule of thumb. For every 10 grams of carbs you eat, you should eat one gram of fiber. So if a food has 30 grams of carbs, make sure it has at least three grams of fiber. And fiber is so good for you. Foods with fiber can lower the risk of many chronic illnesses, including heart disease. Foods with a lot of fiber also digest slower, which makes you feel fuller and more satisfied after you eat. You should aim for 25 to 38 grams of fiber per day. Examples of foods with lots of fiber include beans, oats, bananas, and avocado. Next on the nutrition label are the different types of sugars. Total sugars on a label include both natural sugars and added sugars. Natural sugars are in foods like fruit and milk. Added sugars are in foods that have been sweetened during processing, like soda, candy, cereal, granola bars, and even many sauces and soups. Foods with added sugars tend to be lower in healthy nutrients than those with natural sugars, so you should try to eat less food that is high in added sugars. Sodium is next on the nutrition label. That is the scientific name for salt. Sodium doesn't have calories or affect blood glucose, but it can increase the risk of high blood pressure and heart disease. Processed foods have more sodium. This includes sausage and bacon, frozen meals, some canned foods, packaged snacks, dried meat like jerky, and many condiments like barbecue sauce and soy sauce. Many canned and frozen foods, like beans, soups, and vegetables, are available in low or no sodium options and are healthy choices. But you need to check the nutrition label to be sure. The general recommended limit of sodium is about 2300 milligrams per day. If you have a history of high blood pressure or heart disease, your recommendation may be less. Be sure to check with your doctor. Healthy snacks and sides should have no more than 250 milligrams of sodium, and meals should have no more than 500. And finally, the ingredients list at the bottom of a nutrition label. These can be difficult to read, so instead focus on the order of the ingredients. This is because ingredients are listed in order of how much of it is in the food you will eat. Here are some ingredients to look for based on the food you are eating. For starches, like cereal, check to see if high fiber ingredients are listed first. This can include ingredients like whole grain, whole wheat, and oats. Be cautious of foods that list ingredients like cane sugar, agave, maple syrup, or honey first. These are added sugars. 
Before you go, here is some more information on other types of labels you might see on your food. When labels say low fat, it means that food has less than 3 grams of fat per serving, but you should still check to see what kind of fat is in the food. Low sodium means less than 140 milligrams of salt per serving. High fiber means at least 5 grams of fiber per serving. Calorie free means less than 5 calories per serving, but it's not truly calorie free. If the serving size is small, like a fourth teaspoon, the calories could quickly add up if you're using one teaspoon or more. Sugar free means less than half a gram of sugar per serving. It doesn't mean calorie or carb free. And remember, quality matters. Look for foods that are not too processed that don't have added sugars and refined grains. Refined grains are things like white flour and white rice. Look for foods that are high in fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and low in calories, like non-starchy vegetables and fruit. Beans, lentils, and whole grains are the best starch options. Whole grains include whole wheat, old-fashioned oatmeal, or brown rice. And don't forget about your healthy fats, like nuts and nut butters, seeds, avocados, and oils. Want to take a deep dive on nutrition labels? Check out your accompanying handout on label reading for more information.